DM Scotty's Tilescapes, the isometric terrain system. Craft them all. Wow your friend. Hey, crafting friends. Welcome to another edition of Tilescapes with DM Scotty. Great to have you with me. Today what we're going to do is cavern passages. Cavernous passages, okay? We've done kind of cavernous rooms before, uh, but for Tilescapes I want to do cavernous passages, and these are very modular, so it's easy to make any kind of cave system with them. So let's hit the table, and I'll show you how quick, easy, and cheap it is to make these cavern passages. <laughs> Hey crafters, the material I'm going to start with is the Silly Winks foam sheets and uh, I got these for less than a buck fifty each, so pretty nice. And uh, they're actually five millimeters thick. I got the thick stuff. So here we go. I'll just remove the sticker there. And I'm just going to eyeball the cuts. I'm not even going to measure anything out. So I'm just going to kind of make wavy passages here. And just cut them out. And it's this stuff's great. It's so easy to cut and uh, it's a great material to use for the tilescapes and like I've got the passages cut and I'm gonna round the edges okay and you'll see why I do this later on so I'll just round these edges so they can kinda of go together kinda of like that just trim it till I'm happy and I'm gonna cut some in half too so I'll have half size so I can you know, make it more, uh, you know, varied, varied on the shape. So here's the ones I've cut out, and uh, just easy. And you just, however many you want to make, you just get that many foam sheets. And remember, they're five millimeter thick foam sheets. Now here's my stamp, and I'm going to glue a back to it with uh, my glue gun. I just, uh, with the stamp, I just kind of made, you know, a, a wavy pattern on it. And you'll see why I did that. Uh, when we start stamping. So I'm going to glue the edges here, make it sturdy, make a nice sturdy stamp. I've started doing this with my stamps, gluing two pieces together. And here I'm just going to start adding my colors. I've got gray, I've got tan, I've got burnt umber, brown. Uh, just trying to get some different kind of colors, like cave-like colors. A very light tan there. And uh, just do it like you would the normal tilescape, just stamp it on push it on and voila that's it very cool now I'll do a little bit on the end there because I wasn't quite long enough to get the whole piece so there we go nice now I'll just fill in those black areas a little bit then some are a little too black I can just drag the paint on there a little bit while it's still wet just fill in a bit and I really like the texture that gives on there it really looks like an uneven cave passage right you know, that's what kind of my problem with cave passages. They're kind of too, you know, flat. They're actually not, caves really aren't like that flat. And I think that gives a really nice impression of that. This foam is a pleasure to stamp on. It takes paint really well. The 5 millimeter thick uh, is perfect for the other tilescapes. And just worked great. And uh, I hope you really enjoyed this craft. And let's hit the table and see what these look like. So here's our cave system set up. And you have, we, have, we have Roderick in there. You can see I have the cavern archways that I did like I did with the regular tilescapes. I'm going to do another video to show you how to do that. But uh, look at that. Uh, just other crafts I've done combined with these passageways uh, really work out well. So let's go back around to this passage here. Go down through the cavern. And uh, here we are. Another cave. Ooh, look at that giant cave bear. Uh-oh. And uh, yeah, you can see all the different crafts I've done in here. Uh, various crafts from my other videos so check that make sure to check those out but uh, there's kind of a wider shot of the cave system and I just really like those uh, those cave uh, tiles I think they're really great now uh, let's talk about the uh, cave uh, arches here for a second these are super easy to make and I'm going to show you here in uh, my next vid how to make these so there you go some cavern passages I hope you really like this episode of tilescapes Do I start with that one? Do I start with that one? Do I start with that one? Or do I start with that one? Or do I start with the one I just watched? Well, anyways.
Yeah, there's all these crafts you can make that all these cavern crafts I have. So go check them out.